hello guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to solve one of the lead code problem 599 which is minimum index sum of the two list if you are new to my channel please subscribe and share so um, let's quickly jump to the problem and try to solve this right so basically in this problem what it is asking is there are two friends and they want to choose the restaurant for a dinner and they both have a list of favorite restaurant which is represented by the strings right and you need to help them to find out their common interest with the least index with the least uh, least index sum right so it means we have to find the common string between these two list and it has to be minimum when we are summing the index of these common strings from these two lists right so um, if it is a little confusing let me just explain it what it is basically asking so we have this list and we have a, another list right so if you see this is 0th index one uh, 1th index second index and third index right and here also we have 0th first second and third now which string is the common one so if you see this string is basically present in both is both list and if we are going to sum the index right from the list one which is at zero we, i'm talking about this string so this is present you know at zeroth index plus in the list two it is present at the third index so if you see the value would be 3 uh, there is no other index in common so this is only the answer which can form and we can return it let's see the other example so if you see this is one of the list which is given and there is another list 2 which is also given and if we have to find the common string between these two so what are the possibility we have so this is at 0 and this is present in the list 2 at 1 right so this string is basically present at 0 at plus 1 right and what about this string this string is not present what about this string okay this string is present so if we will try to sum it their indexes it is at second and burger king is also present here at the second index so this is four and kfc if you see right so kfc is also present kfc is present at you know third index in the list one and zeroth index at the list two right so the value is three now out of this right the minimum value is one so our answer should be this one okay so this is what we have to do and i think if there is a choice uh, if there is a choice tie between answers output all all of them with no order requirement okay so what it is saying is if there is more than one val uh, value after this summing the indexes which is in common and if that is your minimum we have to in we have to return all the answers so simply it means is let's say this kfc is present at this place right so in this case your kfc will become one because that is present at the first index in the list one and zeroth index at the list two and this will become one so if you see the minimum indexes in our list is one and we have the two possible answers right so we have to return these two okay so now since we have understood and this is one of the easy problem let's quickly jump to implementation so um, for finding any of the string you know um, from a list into another list um, I, I I think the best approach would be to use the dictionary since it will give you you know the 
answers in O1 time, right? So quickly you can find whether a particular string is present or not, right? So let's do that. We'll create a dictionary. Initially it will be empty, right? Um, just let me yeah clear it out because it was a you know uh, tab issues sometimes so now since we have declared our dictionary we have to loop you know from one of the list but before looping let me just get the length and let me get the length of the list to right now I will try to iterate from list one and I will fill up my dictionary so to get the value I will create this dictionary so here what I am doing is I am creating a dictionary where I am filling all the string from that list and adding the indexes right so if you see um, our dictionary would be look like something um, like this like this value is present at you know zero at index and this string is present at you know, at one index so this is how my dictionary will be look like and after that what I have to do um, I need to have a answer list to return one thing I also need to maintain whether that you know the indexes what what is my current sum index whether it's minimum or maximum that kind of you know track I have to keep it so for that I am going to keep a variable and initially the value would be you know the of max size now let's simply iterate over the second list and in this case what we have to do we have to simply see if my you know uh, string from the list 2 is it present in my dictionary if it is then I will calculate my current index right I will calculate my current index by using uh, by taking the index from the list 2 and also I have you know uh, the save the the same string index from the list 1 right so that I can get it from the dictionary so I can just do this part right so this is the uh, index sum from both the list again I have to see if my current index is you know less than the min index if that is the case it means it means you know um, there is a possible answer right so what I have to do I have to you know first clear the temp and the reason to clear the temp is because what happens let's say uh, um, we have already stored some answer and then we found this current index which is minimum right from the earlier possible answer so we have to clear it out and we have to you know add the new value into it and the new value would be um, you know the string which is present at the current index and since it is common in uh, it it is present also in the list one right so we can take any of it so list to I I just took it and also update the minimum index because since our current index is uh, become minimum right so we have to store that value but there is another possibility right if my current index is equal to my mean index if that is the case if that is the case so you remember uh, we we can have more than one answers right uh, because if this current index and minimum index are same then we have to you know also include the current string into our answer list so for that what I will do is 
I don't know why I'm using temp actually it's answer right um, in the answer we have to simply add list to I and I think that's all right because if it is there in the dictionary then only something we can do if it is not there in the dictionary it means it is not present in the list one we don't need to worry about it and there is only two case like the first case is if we have new answers answer right whose index sum is minimum or if we have a tie right and simply we have to return the answer let's quickly verify it yeah taking some time hopefully it should work let's try to submit it and okay so guys let me know if you have any comments um, if you want to share any other solution to this problem i, I de i'm definitely sure there could be a lot more different approaches for this problem but if you found this problem um, and this solution helpful please give me a thumbs up and also please subscribe and share to my channel thank you